Greetings, sky watchers, and welcome to the sky above us. I'm James Albury, and I'm your tour guide to the night sky. As we wrap up 2021, we have two really cool planetary pairings in the sky near New Year's Eve. What am I talking about? Let me show you. Okay, we have our sky set up for the evening of December 28th, about 45 minutes after sunset, facing west-southwest. Near the horizon, you'll see our sister planet, Venus. It's unmistakable because of its brilliant, steady glow. It's not as bright as it was last month because it's about to pass between us and the Sun. If you zoom in with a telescope, you can see that Venus is sporting a very slender waning crescent phase. Venus will be disappearing into the glare of the Sun soon, so if you want to see Venus in the evening sky, this is your last chance until mid-December of 2022. If you've never spotted Mercury in the sky, here's your golden opportunity to find it. Just down and to the left of Venus is, you guessed it, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system, and it reflects the sun's light with a steady pinkish glow. Mercury is on its way into the evening sky, but it won't be here for long, because in less than a month, it'll be back in the morning sky to join Venus and Mars. Speaking of Mars, check out what the red planet has in store for us on New Year's Eve. Okay, we have our sky set up for the morning of December 31st, about an hour before sunrise, facing southeast. This is going to be a treat for you moon watchers because a slender 27-day-old waning crescent moon will be in a close pairing with Mars and its celestial rival, Antares. Antares marks the heart of Scorpius the Scorpion. Antares means rival of Mars because when they're near each other in the sky, it's tough to tell the two apart because of their red color and relative brightness. But here's a trick you can use to tell them apart. Planets don't twinkle, but stars do. And that's because of their relative distances from Earth and the way their light behaves when it travels through our atmosphere. Stars are so far away that their light is just a pinpoint when it gets to us. Therefore, any turbulence in the air due to humidity or temperature can cause the starlight to scintillate or flicker. This twinkling effect doesn't happen to the planets because they're so much closer to us. Their light is bright and steady, and since they resolve as a disk and even a modest telescope, planet light is not as affected by Earth's atmosphere. Antares is a red supergiant. It's nearing the end of its life, and it's one of the largest stars in our part of the galaxy. It's so large, in fact, that if you put it in the center of our solar system, its surface would extend all the way out to the orbit of Jupiter. Mars is red because the rocks on its surface contain high amounts of iron. Over the years, all this iron has rusted, and that gives Mars its very noticeable red color. This red color inspired many ancient sky watchers to name this wandering star after their gods of war, violence, and death. So, on the morning of December 31st, the Moon, Mars, and Antares will form a beautiful triangle that will gradually change shape the further west you are. And, as one last added bonus, you'll also experience Earthshine. This is the phenomenon where you can see the man and the moon pattern faintly in the darkness on the moon. Colloquially, we call this the new moon in the old moon's arms, and it's caused by sunlight reflecting off Earth and lighting up the nighttime side of the moon. It will definitely be a beautiful picture for you budding astrophotographers out there. All right, my friends, get outside right after sunset on December 28th to see the pairing of Venus and Mercury, and then just before sunrise on New Year's Eve, December 31st, to see the triangle formed by Mars, the Moon, and Antares. Before you go, visit our website, theskyaboveus.org. From there, you can watch previous episodes, listen to the Sky Above Us podcast, get the Sky Above Us merchandise, and you can even ask me an astronomical question that I'll answer in a future episode. Have a great holiday season, and remember to keep looking up. <laughs> <laughs>